So you've written your story and you've had it beautifully edited. Now what? How do you go about getting a book published? Hi, I'm Tali Newland. I'm an author, editor and publisher. This is my first book. For that book, I took the traditional route to publication. After that, I self-published and now I publish books for AIA Publishing. There's two main ways that you can go about getting a book published. There's a traditional way and there's the indie way. In traditional publishing, the publisher pays, the publisher chooses what they'll publish, the publisher takes control and most of the income. In the indie way, it's the author who pays, the author chooses what they'll publish, the author retains control and most of the income. So how do you choose? Well, with the traditional way, you don't really choose. You just submit your book and then they decide whether or not they want to publish your book or not. But there's more things you need to know. Traditional publishing includes the big four publishers, which are Penguin, Random House, Macmillan, The Hatchet Book Group and HarperCollins. Then there's their imprints like Harlequin and Simon & Schuster. And then there's lots of smaller traditional publishers like Scholastic. Indie publishing includes self-publishing, self-publishing services, hybrid publishers, and something called vanity presses. Now, if this is all a bit confusing or leaving you overwhelmed, don't worry, there's more to know. Traditional publishing takes a long time. You need quality and saleability in your book for the, to be selected. But because it's selective, there's some kudos attached. You may, however, need a literary agent even in order to be able to submit to one of these publishers. But your books will end up in physical bookstores. Any publishing can happen quite quickly. The standards vary, however, and so there is a stigma attached to it by some. Sales are not guaranteed and the books will really appear in physical bookstores unless you visit the bookstores yourself and convince the owner to put your book in the store. And that can happen. The thing about indie publishing is that it's a steep learning curve if you want to do it well and if you want to avoid getting ripped off. But there is a lot of help available and you don't have to do it all yourself. Instead, you use authors' services like editors, cover designers, book interior designers, ebook formatters, and there are self-publishing service providers who will do it all for you. In fact, there are three ways to go indie and have someone do it all for you. And the thought of that might give you a lot of relief. But there's more to know. There's hybrid publishing, self-publishing services and vanity press. Hybrid publishing is selective, so they don't publish just anything. The quality is good to high. There's a high author control. Usually the prices are quite reasonable and the integrity varies because it's just like any other business. Self-publishing services are non-selective. The quality varies. There should be full author control. Prices vary as does integrity of the business. Vanity presses are non-selective, though they may pretend that they are selective. The quality is generally poor. There's no author control. The prices are way too high, exorbitant in fact, and there's little or no integrity. So avoid vanity presses at all costs. Hybrid publishing's great, but they may not want your book. In which case you could go to self-publishing services, but you have to choose very carefully and check reviews. So the big question is, how do you spot a vanity press? because you don't want to be the innocent little sheep who's going to get caught by the big bad wolf. So their websites tend to look like mainstream publishers, but they'll actually publish anything. They charge excessive fees and take a high percentage of income. The cost to authors are probably not obvious up front. They make hollow promises like that your book will get lots of media attention and placement in physical stores. And their contracts are often quite restrictive, like they want exclusivity and control of all rights. Examples are 
Forthus Solutions, Balboa Press, Silvers, and Pegasus. So they appeal to your vanity. They'll tell you your book is absolutely wonderful. They're full of hype and they're very pushy. So those are the warning signs. So what is the most important thing here? Can you guess? Research. Do your homework. Now, my advice is if you want to submit to traditional publishers or hybrid publishers, follow their submission guidelines exactly. And if you want to go indie, join the Alliance of Independent Authors and choose their partner members for your services because they have been checked for integrity and quality. I work for AIA Publishing. We're a hybrid publisher and a partner member of the Alliance of Independent Authors. We are a bit fussy about who we'll publish, but we also have a self-publishing service in front called Escarpment Publishing. You're welcome to submit your manuscript to us for consideration and our editors can even help you improve your book. I'm proud of what we do at AIA Publishing and so are our authors. Maybe you can join us.